All right. Um, yeah, what an unbelievable college football game that was. Um, I told the team in there this this game, uh, the history of this game is as good as any as any in college football. The the teams, the players, the epic battles. Um, you know, for so many years, man, it's it's been some of the greats, and this game will go down as one of the best. And I think it's it was kind of fitting, you know, it came down to that. I mean, both teams came in, obviously, you know, neither one very close to full strength. Um, and, you know, it was just uh, both teams put on one heck of a show. I mean, there were there were some mistakes, obviously, by both sides. But, I mean, a lot of fight, a lot of courage, a lot of unbelievable plays, um, especially there in that second half. So, uh, I, I can't say enough about the fight of our guys. You know, it's – it's. Uh, you know, the last couple of weeks have been have been hard on our team, and 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 we've had to we've had to really bear down. And uh, like I said before, you don't you don't have any. There's no magic pill to fix something when it's not going wrong. Um, it's you've got to just grind your way out of it. And I give our team credit. Uh, they have just not just done what we've asked them to do, but they've continued to stay extremely eager um, and and have hung in there. Uh, kind of through all parts of this, and uh, I knew we would get better after the week we had, and and you know it's obviously great to have have the success to back it up and and some momentum uh, going in here to the back half of the season. So you know I'm I'm you know I, I I've, I've never been prouder of a football team than I am this team right now. Lincoln. Uh, I, I'm just curious. I mean, just the overall way that this team played. It seemed like the offensive line played really well. The defense played really well for a long stretch of time. How do you how do you look at that there at the end? I mean, up by 14 with about four minutes to go, and just just have it kind of collapse on you. I mean, is that is that something this team needed to kind of go through and get over? The, because they've been going through that a lot. Yeah, I mean, listen, you're. We're playing a pretty good football team there too, and that quarterback's taking a couple snaps both in this game, uh, in, in the college football, and in this game too. So they're going to make some plays. I mean, I, you know, I we had some we had some opportunities. Obviously, had an opportunity or two to stay on the field offensively, um, and and just were just a tick off to be able to end it. Um, you know, a couple tough plays defensively, um, but I mean, listen, Sam Ellinger's going to make his plays. I mean, that's we, we've sat here and watched it in this game for you know, it seems like 15 years now. I mean, it, it guy's a good player and. Uh, He's difficult to contain. We did a good job throughout the game. Uh, you know, I thought we got a little bit worn down. We weren't able to get quite as much pressure on him there at the end. And, you know, give them credit. They made some really competitive throws and catches, and, and Ellinger made some good decisions and, you know, came down to us offensively having a chance to get a first down. And we took a couple chances there to, to try to get first downs and, and weren't able to convert them. And, and they made plays. So, um, but, you know, the, the, the story of this is our fight. You know, the story of this is how we continue to play for the overtime, you know, gave ourselves some real good opportunities to win and obviously capitalized there at the end. Let's go to John Hoover. John Hoover. Um, hang on, sorry. Caught me off guard. So, uh, Lincoln, I wonder about the uh, second down field goal, if you could kind of go t- take us through your thinking on that. That's really rare to kick a field goal on second down to be presented with that opportunity, but then it didn't work out for you. Just take us through that if you could. Yeah, also it was a pretty easy decision. Um, you know, we were able to get the, the ball exactly where Gabe likes it. Um, we still had a timeout, I believe, at the time. Um, and so, you know, if, if you do, didn't think we would, but if you do have a bad snap, anything like that, you obviously can, can uh, you know, can, can use that timeout, kind of resettle everybody and, and kick it again. So, uh, yeah, no, nah, it was, I mean, you know, Gabe makes that 99 times out of 100, and that was the one he didn't make. But, uh, you know, we feel like we've got one of the best kickers in America. And uh, if I, for some reason, have that decision to do over tomorrow, I'm going to do exactly the same thing. Brandon Drum. Brandon Drum. Yeah, Lincoln, uh, can you kind of walk us through just the, the decision with uh, Rattler and, and Mordecai and I guess the confidence you have in both those guys playing in a, in a game? Yeah, yeah, no, it was. Uh, you know, I thought Spencer did some good things early, and then had a couple of a couple of plays that that I didn't like, and and uh, so I knew Tanner had been practicing well, and so felt like you know one wanted to kind of give us a new a new face in there, and two um, I, I felt like Tanner would go play well, and then I also felt like that you know it would help Spencer to 
take a step back for a second and kind of see the whole thing a little bit and settle down. And I think that happened. I mean, Tanner was a was stabilizing for us offensively, made some really nice throws, some key conversions, got a scoring drive. Uh, and honestly, really, other than the uh, you know the, the coming out of the pocket, which he was, looked like he was going to run away, and the ball just get, got knocked out of his hand, he played pretty well for us. So now I had confidence in either one and, and uh, decided at halftime to go ahead and give Spencer, um, you know, to start with Spencer. And, and you know, he got hot and kind of got settled in. We started playing pretty well, and so I stuck with him the rest of the way. Go to Joe Batner. Joe Batner. Uh, Lincoln, I was curious if you could speak to the days that Drake's team obviously had with that touchdown there at the end, and as well as Theo Means. It seemed like he was a major factor in getting the offense going in the uh yeah, we needed that. You know, we've we've needed those guys, not just those two in particular, but our wideouts to to really make some competitive plays. And uh, you know, those guys made some big plays. You know, I can you know, a number of Theos to me were uh, um, you know just really competitive catches. And then obviously, you know, got a, a really nice ball from Spencer there on the two point play. But some key plays, and had, had a couple plays after the catch too. And then yeah, Drake. Um, Man, what what can you say? I bet his I bet his daddy's pretty happy right now. Very Travis. Lincoln, you got an explanation for the wild swings and performance when you play great defense early. You played great defense in overtime, uh, but also in that fourth quarter, not so much. And then also offensively, drive. Eight minutes, nine minutes, and but after that, the uh, the offense didn't do much until overtime. Yeah, just kind of a little bit what we are right now. I mean, we're fighting for consistency, and, and I thought we we did you know several things better than we have all year. But I mean, you know, listen, the way we'll here, but I mean, we're we're a pretty young football team with a you know with a. Uh, our, our, our roster's kind of all over the place, and I think that's some of it. And, and then the other part of it is what, what I've been telling you guys for weeks is, you know, we're, we've got to continue just to improve. We've got to continue to fight through the things, and we did a lot of things better. We still recognize as a team that our best ball is, is, has not been played yet. Our best ball has not been coached yet. I mean, we still have so, so far to go. Um, but, uh, you know, and, you know, it's, it's, it's not always easy, you know. I mean, it's uh, – you know, Texas, last time I checked, you know, they got some pretty good football players and pretty good football coaches, too. You know, so you're going to have some plays go against you. And uh, I thought we we handled it and we were able to turn momentum a lot quicker in this game than we had the other games. And, uh, you know, I think that's why we won eventually. Ryan Aver. Ryan Aver. Yeah, like it's sort of along those lines there with uh, with defense – you know, played great defense for, for most of regulation, and then things sort of uh, fell apart laid on you. Uh, what was going right for you there? And uh, and then where where did y'all find those last two stops there uh, on Texas's last two drives? Yeah, we just we just played better there at the end. You know, we played cleaner there at the end. Um, you know, didn't have a couple of the penalties that gave them some momentum and kind of got them started. Um, we did a little bit better job corralling Sam uh, there at the end. And he's tough, man, because, you know, a guy sees the field. He's, he's seen so many plays. Uh, you know, he's, and then, you know, obviously the running ability. And that, that was, I think, the thing that really, really hurt us there in the fourth quarter was, was obviously his scrambles. Um, and that's, the, you know, probably the toughest thing in football to defend as a quarterback that can see the field and scramble, um, as we've seen around here. So, um, yeah, but it, we took a lot of guts to do what we did. We made some really competitive plays on the ball. Um, obviously, the turnovers were huge, and even had one call back early. So some really competitive plays, just kind of kept fighting, um, hung in there, trusted the defense. and play, We did absolutely right. We did play some of our best at the end. And another thing I noticed at the end, man, we had defensively, I especially noticed this, was – we had a lot of guys that were hurting, a lot of guys that were just absolutely gassed, and everybody was just begging to go back in the game. Like they, like it was just the sideline was just begging people to put back in, and guys that had you know not a whole lot left in the tank, and were all banged up. And and uh, I, I just think it says a lot about our, our culture and the toughness, and just how you know how much the kids and the guys were ready to fight tonight. Appreciate it, Danny Carlson. Carlson. Lincoln, by my count, in overtime, Spencer either threw or carried 13 or 16 snaps. You guys obviously are, you know, offensively moving almost at will in overtime. What was it about him like in 
He just trusted it. You know, he was better here at the end of the game than he, than he was the previous couple of weeks simply because he, he trusted it, trusted his teammates, um, stayed really true to his reads. I thought his his mentality and mindset and confidence was, was really good. And, uh, again, he's a guy that's – Going to take any setbacks or any any failures, and he's going he's going to learn from them. He's not going to let them discourage him. He just kind of has that way about him, and and uh, so I was very confident in the way we would play, and gave him a lot of opportunities to make plays. And he, along with the rest of our offense, you know, made a bunch of them there. Hmm? James Hale. Lincoln, you had a chance to play a lot of guys in this game. You yep. played the next generation a lot, especially on defense. Yep. Uh, like your thoughts on that, and also uh, on the fourth and inches when it looked like you were going to throw what Tom called timeout, did Creed or Spence or somebody say, "Hey, let's give it this run, let's run behind this All-American and see if we can get this first down or get this touchdown"? Um, I don't know. I don't want to go too much into the decision, but was just obviously it was a play that we felt we felt good about executing because obviously if you don't get it there, they've got a heck of a kicker themselves, and and. You know, you're going to have to. Your chances aren't as high as you would want there. So, now I just had a had a lot of faith uh, in the line, spent those guys to get pushed, get it in there, and we did. Um, and as far as playing all the young guys, yeah, we, uh, yeah, we, we, it was a plan going in. We felt like some of these guys had taken some steps over the last few weeks and were ready to play. And uh, you know, boy, did we ever need them. You know, with all the all the snaps on the field. I mean, there was a. It was a uh, it was a battle royale, and, and it took it took every single person to get it done. Thanks, Lincoln. Lincoln, you're you're missing Seth McGowan tonight. You really had to put a lot of the shoulders on the shoulders of T.J. Fletcher and, and Marcus Major. Can you just talk about the challenge of, of those guys going out and performing tonight? Yeah, man, they hung in there. Yeah, they were they were tough for us. Um, they really were. They did some. They did some really nice things. Um, they got better, you know, which we're going to have to continue to do um, in that room and every room. But um, had some really tough runs. They both made some big time plays. Um, you know, they're two young guys that, that, that are going to continue to just grow and get better and better. But I, obviously, you know, we took some big steps in the run game and still felt like we left, you know, a little bit out there. So, uh, but proud of their fight. Um, it was a little bit of a, a light room this week and. Uh, but they, uh, you know, they attacked it and made some big time plays. Thanks, guys. You're welcome. Yeah, Lincoln. The importance, the importance of the result, just getting a win in this situation because of what you guys have been up against the last couple of weeks. The, the leads have been a bit of a filter away. The, the one that almost got away from me today. What, what were you looking at coming out of a five-hour battle like this, 0-3 in the league, and having to keep everything together? Had you not gotten a result? And I'm not going to talk in what if, Scaring, You know, we the what happened is we won, um, and it wouldn't change what I've seen out of this team. You know, in the last week, when again a lot of people have doubted us, that you know, whatever. Um, you know, we didn't let any of the excuses hold us down. We we just found a way, and I, I knew we'd be ready for the fight. By the way, we prepared. You never know for sure if you're going to win a game or not. That's not that's not reality. But um, you know, I learned it was great to see the team fight and find a way. But I learned a lot about this team this week before we ever even stepped foot on this field. Chris, I'm Hey, Lincoln. I realize. Uh... I realize this is one of the weird, wildest Red River games ever. I'm just wondering if you can speak to how different, if at all, this game felt from an environment standpoint, uh, kind of with everything going on. Yeah, it was different. I mean, it's, you know, the, the things that you're so used to, the, you know, the bus ride in and the fare being packed, and it was almost eerie. It was almost like driving into a ghost town. Um, it was, I don't know how to explain it. It was very strange. The atmosphere was a little strange, and then, you know, and I say strange in that it just it's just different. I mean, everything's just different right now. And those of us that have been in it, you're so used to it being just so epic. Um, and then at the end, I mean, at the end it felt like there were 90,000 people in there. I mean, it really did. Um, so uh, despite all the stuff against the game and all the, you know, people not being here and all that, uh, the game still found a, found a way to be be, uh, be pretty special. And last question, question, question on the ZP. Hey, uh, Coach, if you could just take us through uh, the decision to throw and third down late in the game when Texas was out of timeout. Yep. Gave them a little extra time. 
uh, your thoughts on the, the, the thought process, and then if you had it to do again, would you do it that way? I would. I mean, I you know, you had an opportunity there. You, you complete one pass, you win the game. And, uh, you know, I felt like, you know, where we were at, you know, we'd gotten some good field position there. Um, and and so, you know, even if you don't, you're going to have the chance to pin them and they got to drive the, the whole way. Um, and honestly, I, you know, I didn't really want to put it back in, in Sam's hands. I mean, to be completely honest, I mean, he's just been a part of so many of these. And we saw, you know, what they did up in Lubbock just a few weeks ago. And so you got, you got a chance to win the game. And it was a play that we're confident in and disappointed that we, that we didn't execute it. But then, you know, those guys came back. Both of them made some pretty big ones there after that.